welcome to scenic Diablo Canyon, where the gallery is a pleasant mix of golf fans and ravenous vultures. This is the closest you'll ever get to post-apocalyptic golf without the radiation poisoning. Nothing can survive out here, including your score. So slap on the sunscreen and prepare for a round of golf in a climate that's drier than an AA meeting. Never one to shy away from a good fight, Harley is currently considering running for public office. Her platform includes lowering the drinking age to puberty, outlawing helmets, and making misdemeanor convictions tax deductible. <laughs> but she still finds time to get out on the golf course, where she loves nothing more than committing assault and battery on the ball, as well as her amiable biker boy toy, Snake. Hailing from the mean streets of Queens, Donna don't take no crap from no one. This disco golfing diva has been swinging clubs since she was 10. Then she discovered you could also hit golf balls with them. When Donna's got a groove on, she can smoke your ass in a New York minute. Lugging Donna's clubs is her linguini slurping boyfriend, Caddy, and made man wannabe, Vinny. Born and raised in New York City, this Columbia University PhD is a triple threat, brains and boobs. When she's not in the science lab or getting dollars tucked into her G-string, Summer's hobbies include public indecency, one-night stands, and of course, golf. Carrying Summer's clubs today is her pole dancing sidekick and hot body double, Autumn. We're here at the first. This hole is 440 yards of tranquil desert scenery. Or if I have anything to do with it, the future site of a totally bitchin' mall. So hurry up and tee off on this par four, cause the bulldozers are coming in a half an hour. Isn't it great to be rich and powerful? Oh, never mind, you wouldn't know. Our first golfer is Harley. Sweet. Maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. Teeing off second is Donna. Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Walking softly, carrying a big club is Summer. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Second shot. That'll work. Second shot, concentrate. Second shot. Nothing wrong with that shot. For a shot at birdie. Forget 12 step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. All right, give me a high two. Ooh.
Summer is attempting for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Donna is hoping to make a birdie. Nicely done! All right, score a birdie for the boys. And by boys, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Lift and separate. To now, one of the best looking pars I've ever seen. Oh, sorry, I was looking at a different hole. This one's just average. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? the second. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Actually, I am, but that's a long story. Anyway, this 446-yard par 4 is more trouble than an angry hornet's nest. Believe me, I know, because one time I was hunting a group of city folk for sport, and this girl had the nerve to throw one at me. I done got stung like 200 times. That's what we call hillbilly acupuncture. Get the smelling salt. That ball was knocked senseless. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Yeah. Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. Second shot. Gotta like that one. All right, second shot. That's weak. Second shot. Oh my, that ball should be tried for treason. Take it away. Third shot. Summer is in the rough, which believe me is definitely better than a Turkish prison. Harley is ready to play a little golf ball knock-knock.
Harley is attempting to put it in for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Summer is concentrating to make par and prove once and for all that being average is pretty damn average. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Donna has an opportunity to make par. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Hey, it's the third. For the first time ever, I'm going to say I'm hot and not mean awesome looking. What I wouldn't give for some electrolytes right now. Anyway, this 572 yard par five has an obnoxious break in the fairway right here. If your ball's lucky enough to land on the other side, good luck finding the green, cause it's hiding at the bottom of a hill right here. This concludes your tour. Please tip your guide. That's a monster shot, people. I wish my bartender poured him that big. Wow! What a tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. Nice. That ball just got some prime real estate. Très bien. See, I picked up a lot more in France besides a moped license and a nasty rash. Second shot. Well done. Just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> Second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. That'll score a 9.6 with the German judge. Third shot.
Nice! That was good for both of us. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. Third shot. Donna is about to put up swollen earth for a tasty birdie. Too bad you can't get one of these at the tee. That's a gimme. Summer is lining up to sink a birdie. Nicely done. Harley is preparing for a shot at birdie and all its glory. That'll be good for your game. Behold, the fourth! This 297-yard par four plays in the shadows of the towering rock mesas of Arizona. Much like El Suave himself, these magnificent edifices are massive and quite beautiful. But unlike these natural formations, climbing El Suave is by invitation only. Now we're talking. Tempers are flaring just like my nipples. Oh, shit. Did I just say that out loud? Now my decision making's real impaired. Crack it. Full throttle. Slam dunk. Toe jam. Footsie. Break up the tampons. I see blood. Call the cops, cause that ball just got jacked. Yeah. Even through this vodka haze, I can tell that was a nice shot. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. Second shot, concentrate. Nice, give that ball a gold star. Second shot. Well, that sure makes club selection easy. Second shot. Now that's what I call softy. to sink a birdie.
School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Summer is tapping to make a birdie. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Here's the fifth. As long as you play it safe and avoid hitting that giant arch thingy on this 216 yard par three, we should be home in time to watch the OC. <laughs> I love reality television. Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Summer is about to launch it off the tee in 10, 9, 8. Second shot. That ball is cruising. Second shot. Donna is ready to head downhill to drop this one in for par. Ah, close enough. I could use a change of scenery. Summer has this putt to putt for par. Houston, I think we have a golfer. We're at the sixth. Dang, P.U. This 451-yard par four could use some fertilizer. This land is more barren than my second wife. Fortunately, I brought a ton of manure with me, on account of I haven't emptied my Winnie septic tank in five months. You got to be kidding me. That ball was smoking. Seriously, did anyone see those flames? That drive has set a record. That's worthy of something. 
I just don't know what it is. Chicks dig the long ball. Mm -hmm. Damn! That ball was so high, it had to go through rehab just to come down. All right, second shot. Second shot. That shot is so crappy, it's attracting flies. Second shot. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. For a tasty birdie. W O W Whoa! Oh, wow, I meant wow. To drop a par in the bottom of the cup. Take it easy. To regain some dignity and make a bogey. Hit the dirt for a shot at double bogey. All hail the horrible golfer. Watch out just to get out of this hole with no dignity whatsoever. Take it from someone who knows. What a crap shot! Who's got some paper? Cause that was a crap shot! Just to end this pain and suffering, and I'm talking about mine. Hey, is someone wearing vomit scented cologne? Or is it just that shot that stinks? Just to put the last nail in the coffin. Damn, I bet somebody's itching to hit the reset button. Third shot. Not bad. Third shot. Summer is smacking to drop this one in for par. One word, nice punt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Donna is eyeing this putt just to avoid being beaten by an angry mob. Harley has this putt to sink one for par. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans.
check out the seventh. This 213-yard par 3 was formerly a nuclear test site. So if you see lizards with three eyes and snakes with five tongues, don't be alarmed. Just keep your head in the game before you grow a second one. Man, I love the taste of a nice fat Cuban. I'll pass the word on to who they can fake out. Harley is about to take out some repressed aggressions and drive that sucker. That ball was hit like a ton of bricks. I just love using masonry analogies. Don't you just love hearing masonry analogies? Talk about a lucky break! That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper. Or at least two twins. You know, well, actually, it's nothing like that at all. How lucky can you get? Donna is about to tee off. Can't you feel the excitement in my pants? I mean, air in the air. In the air, I mean. For a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Let's just drop that in and call it a hole. Summer is concentrating for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Close enough. We'll give you that one. If you have low self-esteem, this should help. This is the eighth. I hope to pack the lunch, cause this 512 yard par five could take some time. Also, I am extremely hungry. I have been fasting to cleanse my body of impurities. Unfortunately, the bad rash I got after my visit to an intriguing massage parlor has yet to clear up. I need ointment. Summer has a big club and is ready to jack it off the tee. I know someone who's channeling their repressed familial dysfunction in a positive direction. Wow, someone just went medieval on that ball. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic.
Way to go! Time to break out the putter. Second shot. Second shot. shot. For an awe-inspiring eagle. Put, and that's all that matters. Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Donna is preparing for an unbelievable eagle. Nicely done. I am friggin' good. You are freaking hot. Who says oh. golf ain't a contact sport? Summer is smacking. To sink a birdie. Hey, I might lie, but the numbers don't. This game is mathematically over. That concludes this round, people. And much to my shock and amazement, our winner is... Harley! Congratulations! That's about all the time we have on this game. Please remember to lock up on your way out.